Our first proposal involves Joe and Renee. Now, Renee had recently seen our first show, so Joe wanted to make sure she would suspect nothing, so. So, to uh, throw her off guard, we asked the world famous psychologist, uh, Dr. Joyce Brothers, to sort of give a phony lecture just for our show. Now, wait till you see Renee's face when she realizes that she has been fooled by an entire lecture hall full of people. So, let's watch the story of Joe and Renee. Now this is the University of California in Riverside where Renee thinks she's attending a lecture on relationships by Dr. Joyce Brothers. That's Renee in the middle there. Uh, that gardener, by the way, is really a member of our Will You Marry Me team who will radio ahead to let us know that Renee has arrived. There he goes. Renee is the kind of person who can make me laugh no matter what. It's like this little kid in an adult body, and we laugh together so much. We're always, you know, picking on each other. There's just a love there about her and a caring about her that I've never seen with anyone else. Now that's Renee in the double-breasted pantsuit greeting her friends. I knew Renee was the person I wanted to spend the rest of my life with, probably after we had gone out for a couple of years. I mean, I, I always cared about her and had a lot of fun with her, but it was probably after a couple of years when I finally figured, you know what, this is the person I want to share the rest of my life with. We're hiding a wireless microphone on Joe so that we'll be able to hear his proposal later. That's it. Testing one, two, three, testing one, two, three. Renee's not expecting me to propose because we've come to the agreement that we're going to buy a house together. And so we put the marriage on hold, and so she's in house mode now. Oh, you brought, no, yes, no, oh, good. I remember. Little does Renee know that we've also hidden a microphone in this purse right in front of her. All right, ladies and gentlemen, we're going to uh, bring out our guest of honor. It is my privilege to introduce you do for love. our featured speaker for this evening, Dr. Joyce Brothers. I'd like to learn a little bit of something about you. Um, how many of you are in a relationship? Would you raise your hand? Oh, yes. How many would like to put a little bit more romance, a little bit more zing into your relationships? I like my zing. I like my zing. You want a little more. No, it's OK. The way it is right now. <laughs> to talk about tonight and deal with it. You know, let's look a little bit at why we fall in love with the people we do. Renee's we reaction to the first show, from the start of that till the finished, all she did was was in tears the whole time. Oh, I can't believe that this is happening. I just love the way they do that. Whenever I lecture, I encourage a person here and there to talk about their feelings of romance and how to make romance happen in their lives. And so we have right now a videotape that I'd like you to take a look at. <coughs> Tell me how you met your girlfriend. I actually met her through my brother, and we became friends, and then it developed into a relationship. Your brother met her first. Yes. Does he mind that you took her away from him? I don't think so. We all <laughs> get along very well. It seems like Joe. Yeah. yeah. How long have you been going together? About four and a half, five years. In the last year and a half, we've yeah. been together quite a bit. Yeah. What makes you yeah, think you're ready for a with commitment him? now? Almost five years. How much? Where we're at over the last year and a half has really developed into what I feel very comfortable with. That's his love? voice. Mm -hmm, very much. Yes, it well, is. if you love and yes, are romantic, what sort of romantic things does she do for you? She lives, leaves you little notes on the bathroom mirror for me. She um, will do, leave things Joe? around the house to surprise this me, you know, things like that. Nothing on the mirror that says, pick up your dirty clothes and put them in the hamper. Uh, yeah. <laughs> no, really not. Tell you. What kind of romantic things do you do for her? I'll bring her, bring her home a flower from work, or we'll go for a walk, and I'll pick a flower and give it to her, and something like that. That's nice. Does she like surprises? Yes, yeah, she does. I hope so. Yes, As a matter of fact, I have a surprise she for her now that I'm hoping that she'll never forget. Renee, please wait there for a little bit. I have something to tell you. Renee, 
Do you remember a few months ago you and I watched a TV show called uh, Will You Marry Me? No way! <laughs> hey, no! Over the last four and a half years, I have felt a lot of joy with you, a lot of fear with you, a lot of laughter, a lot of crying together. And now what I want to know, Renee, is um, will you marry me? Everybody knew about this? <laughs> oh my God. Well, here is that great relationship in person, Joe Capella and Renee Knowles. Uh, you've got everybody here at the table <laughs> crying. <laughs> what did you think when you saw Joe being interviewed by Dr. Brothers? Well, I thought maybe... Um... He had been seeing her maybe through his work or something. I, I had no idea. I had, well, I knew it was him, but I didn't know <laughs> why he was, what in the world he was doing with her. I was. No actress could have ever recreated your face. That was genuine <laughs> yes. surprise. Um, Joe, what were your feelings when you made that long walk up the stairs? Initially, I was afraid I was going to fall down the stairs. I'm going, <laughs> no, please let me make it to the top. Oh, it was and so sweet. This sounds like one couple that Dr. Brothers is never going to have to counsel. <laughs> Best wishes to you both. It Thank was just you. a wonderful proposal. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs>